Hi, Jochen. Welcome to Ali Five Minutes. Hi. Hi, Emiliano. Yeah, nice to meet you. Jochen, can we say that last year was an exciting year for the top consoler cell technology? Um, yeah, definitely. 2022 was a very exciting year. We saw a lot of progress, especially in the industrial implementation, um, as well as also in the, in the record efficiencies. So just recently um, with uh, the, the, the new records, um, uh, from from Jinko um, on on large area cells with over 26%, um, but as well as uh, let's say the large implementation program of Jollywood uh, with the gigawatts of uh, production now. So I would say the market share for Topcon is progressing. Lots of announcements for the next years um, have been um, have been seen so that we will see multi gigawatts uh, of production in the next years. Um, so yes, I would say um, there was a lot of progress um, for Topcon deployment. Do you have any idea how many manufacturers are currently producing Topcon modules? Um, yeah, I mean, from the, for, for, from the really, let's say already um, manufacturers on, on large scales, you definitely have now, I would say, a number of uh, um, uh, at least uh, uh, 10 um, who are already more or less entering into the gigawatt stage. There are still um, a lot more, um, which are just in the in the transition um, uh, process. Of course, the most uh, prominent ones are also the ones who are already, let's say, I think, um, uh, longest already active uh, in the topcon field with Jollywood, um, uh, Jinko. Um, um, J Solar um, just recently announced also for 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 Topcon. Um, so there are now more and more of the tier ones um, entering, um, especially of course the ones um, who are now um, in this transition from Perk uh, to Topcon, as this anyway seems to be the most. Um, um, relevant path um, uh, and evolutionary path um, for the efficiency progress. In December, Jinko Solar achieved an efficiency of 26.4% for an N-type top console. Do you think we're reaching a tipping point in terms of efficiency? Very interesting question. If you would have asked me that, let's say two or three years ago, I would have said, oh, maybe 25% is, let's say the maximum. Um, and we are now seeing that this uh, kind of uh, maximum is uh, shifting more and more upwards. Um, so that is of course, uh, very exciting. We are really coming now to the limits um, also from the um, from the from the loss uh, analysis uh, point of view, we see now, let's say, for example, a lot of progress uh, still on the front side of the solar cell, where it seems that you can still, let's say, improve um, um, a bit more. So, I um, mean, what to say? Uh, we always uh, say that, in principle, let's say the potential for a heterojunction and topcon are relatively the same. So, I would say. Approaching 27% for both um, type of cells, uh, I guess, will be something which we will see in the next, um, in the near future. Do you think we can reach 27% efficiency this year? Yeah, most probably. So, I mean, interestingly, um, it always seems that um, um, some of the large uh, players, which are of course also active uh, strongly in R and D, like uh, like Longi, etc., they seem always to have, let's say, a new record in their pockets. Yeah. So, um, and they even make announcements already that they will announce, let's say, new records um, 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 early this year. So, yeah, I mean. Very exciting. We will see um, where this where this leads to. And how much production cost may be further reduced? Mm, uh, I mean, of course, one is uh, usually, of course, uh, in terms of uh, cost per watt peak is, of course, efficiency as one driver. The other is, uh, let's say, the material cost uh, reduction. Um, mainly, of course, in the Topcon area, um, the, the, the silver uh, reduction or even silver replacement, uh, which has, of course, a strong influence um, on the production cost. That is also something where, of course, we had um, 
quite dramatic uh, or an impressive um, 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 improvement over the over the last years, um, I have to say. So if you consider, let's say, uh, contact um, dimensions uh, five years ago to nowadays, um, it is really completely different uh, era. So do you believe that Topcom modules may have the same prices as perk modules over the next two to five years not even say that this may uh, last uh, that long um, we already see i mean from our own cost analysis uh, that we are really coming relatively close um, so um, that might not even uh, take that long uh, at least on an euro per watt peak base uh, definitely we may reach an um, equal um, uh, plane relatively soon Thank you for your five minutes, Jochen. Thanks. Yeah. Great. Bye bye.